You know, it's great to be with you guys. It's always exciting to have the men get together in fellowship and in the Word of God and in worship especially. Great worship this morning as well as last night. Let's have a round of applause. Thank you so much for putting on this retreat every, every year. How many years have you been doing this, Tim? 26, 27 years. That is perseverance, faithfulness, and the Lord. And, um, you know, when we look to the Word of God and what God wants to do in and through our lives, He wants to use each and every one of us. Now, I was, one thing I do enjoy coming to the retreats is, you know, getting together with you guys and talking as much time as we have, and then, uh, of course, getting together with some of the pastors I haven't seen for a while. I was talking to Steve Rex, Steve, where are you? There you go. Hey, man. You're talking about, you know, talking about the Philippines had eight acres of property donated to him to get the church started in, in the Philippines. That was awesome. And looking for someone to pastor that church. And uh, and then he just told me he just finished his 20,000th surfboard in shaping and so forth. I said, you look LeBron James of surfboards, bro. <laughs> and then he told me, hey, I got this bucket list. I'm trying to get things done. And he says, I, I want to be a pamiolo on uh, Kauai. I go, really, bro? I mean, you do karate, you do surfing, you do, I mean, all that stuff. A pineal? Yeah. He says, so I went out and rented a horse. I go, okay, that's cool. And he says, you know, I've never really ridden, but I want to learn to be a good horseman and all that cowboy kind of thing. And, and I'm like, okay, I'm just a good historian. Great. He says, but I want you to know, through it all, God really taught me to pray and he answered my prayers. I said, okay, that's, that's cool, but what happened? He goes, well, you know, I got on the horse, you know, I rented the horse, I got on the horse, I started to ride. And all of a sudden, the thing just took off on me. It was just like, and, and then it started bucking and all this stuff. And, you know, I'm not a horseman. I'm a surfer. And the uh, next thing I know, I'm falling off the horse. My foot is hooked in the spur. My head starts beating against the ground. And I'm like, I'm going to die. You know, I mean, this is worse than, you know, surfing and a shark coming at you or something. I'm going to die. And, and he's, he's panicking. I was like, Lord, help me. And all of a sudden, the Walmart manager came out and unplugged. 